Okay, this is just a quick video. Um, I bought this Heathkit Hero 2000 a few weeks ago. I haven't had time to work on it. It arrived via UPS. Uh, basically, all the panels and stuff were broke off and bent chassis and whatever. It was really aggravating. <laughs> but um, they're kind of rare to get a hold of, so I guess in any condition. So. I've got things to do on it, obviously, but I just want to do a little quick view of this for you guys so you know what the heck what these look like in person and you see what sort of a challenge I'd like to do on my own time. But yeah, so these were uh, very expensive when they were uh, uh, on the market originally and uh usually only universities and colleges and such would buy them um this is a the heathkit slash zenith educational systems line uh over here is a heathkit hero junior heathkit zenith that was more for the uh the uh, personal robotics line yeah I have that to work on and then over here is uh, a couple uh, hero ones that I've yet to work on too I had no time so this is pretty much the whole family here uh, and you know it's gonna be a while till I get around to it but eventually I will it's sort of a real training process to uh, look at this old stuff and try to get it running. But as old as it is, it still uh, sets the standard for um, robots uh, and the like. I mean, it's very hard to get a, a robot even a day that does... The same things that one of these could do. Um, this is an example of the damage. See, that's supposed to be a straight piece there. It got bent in shipping. And so, yeah, I've got I've got some issues and things to work on, but that's the way it goes. Well, here's some of the ports. Can't really see them that good. In this lighting. I'll go over this some more, but I just wanted to basically open this up because you never get to see what's inside these. I mean, I've looked over the net and whatever, and um, it's not a, not a good example. What's going on? And yeah, the lighting's not so good either. Darn it. Well, we'll see if I open it up some more. So yeah, quite a complicated bit of work in here. And were any of this stuff to fail, I'd have a hell of a time trying to track it down and and uh, figure it out. So it's definitely going to be a challenge. Um, yeah, basically, it was a computer on wheels, more or less, and uh, and um, and so it's it's pretty complicated. I like that and uh, this was the uh, rotating sonar assembly that little doohickey you'd rotate around and give it some sonar um, location and uh, the other sonar unit as I understand is on the front here I'm trying to aim this camera I'm not have to actually get over here and aim it <clears throat> see that right there that circle um, that was the other sonar detecting unit and uh, see it's right there and this is all wackadoodle this, this, this has actually been cracked up pretty bad I'll show you guys and gals if there's any gals watching this um, 
See that down there, that crack? It's all cracked up. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to repair that. And this is, this right here of course has been broken off of this over here. Yeah, so there's some issues. That's the famous, um, uh, I guess you'd call it the, uh, the hand or the claw. And, uh, that's the front. I'd like to get it fired up and going, but I'm going to do the cosmetic stuff first and get it running. So this little uh, purchase was pretty expensive, but still a very small amount compared to uh, what they were retailing for. I paid a little over a thousand for it. So there's some heavy duty bidding. I actually think I paid about 1300 for it. It's heavy duty bidding going on. And it has just about every accessory for it. There's a few things it doesn't have. And But uh, I got some discouraging uh, paperwork with it too that it has a sonar issue. And the previous owner racked his brain trying to figure it out and he never did according to that paperwork. But, but yeah. So anyway, that's just kind of a little overview. You don't see much time on these things on YouTube. Well, look out. And uh, I'm going to be going over this and my other Heathkit robots as I have time. And, and uh, we'll get to see how far I can get with them. Um, I got a lot of other things going on in my life too. So it's not like I can just spend 24-7 on these, but... I work out the issues, learn as I go. I really like robotics, and when you say, "Hey, you know, I work on robots as a hobby," people just do you double take. It's still rather an obscure, um, rather obscure sort of uh, vocation. So, um, I guess the other thing I could show you here in the last couple of minutes. Uh, I cruise eBay like other people cruise the beach or or other people, uh, you know, they, they, other people spend a lot of time in other pursuits. I spend a lot of time on eBay looking around. I'm a bargain hunter. Well, I'm a big military surplus fan, as you can probably understand from my channel. Um, I'm going to go over this real quick. I'll go over it in depth later, maybe, or not. This is a Marine Corps surplus electronics uh, set, and I bought it for 130 bucks. Some guy bought a ton of them, marked them up a little bit, and then sold them. But it's nearly complete. Um, it's definitely very similar to the ones we have in the Army, and so it's probably the same manufacturer. But yeah, it was quite a good deal to get all these tools and whatnot. Especially me working on robots and things and other electronic issues. Um, for example, I use this screwdriver just a minute ago to open up this, this section here. And I'm worried about broken wires and stuff, obviously. Holy smokes. But yeah, I use this screwdriver to open up this section here. I'm sure there's other compartments to open and check out, but I haven't got that far. Oh, we got a minute left. So, main thing is do no harm when you're working on robots. If you're not sure, just walk away, do some research, figure it out. Because robots are very, very expensive um, items, helpers, tools, friends, whatever you want to call them. I added this to the kit, it's the tape measure, but it's a pretty good kit, I tell you. It's got a lot of stuff with it. Some more things down there. But, um, yeah, I, I'm a fan of military tools because they don't screw around with cheap crap. And, um, if I can get a surplus set, I will. And I have. So that's basically what I use to work on my electronics, more or less. So, anyway. This is my channel. Subscribe if you want more updates and you have a good day.